welcome to Mind Your Business, the channel where we are in a everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. So people, I've caught up. I was a bit behind, but I did my little binge watch and caught up with Bell Collective. Let's talk about it. Well, guys, people, my inclusive crew, let's talk about Bell Collective. And yes, I'm still baffled by Glenn, Letitia's husband, because I'm just like, what is going on? How on earth is she taking you out to a plot of land to discuss, you know, what it's a buy this plot of land to build their house and whatever investment or for themselves, whatever it is. And you've telling her that you have quit your job. You did not discuss this with your wife. Nothing. Just you've quit your job. What? And you want to do entrepreneurial stuff and there's women out here. I'm like, so it sounds like you want to jump on what Letitia's doing. I don't know. I want to see how this unfolds because the bewilderment, that I had has watching that scene. I was just like, no, this is ridiculous. Like, the man has to sort himself out. This is unacceptable. She's talking about how she needs to see a doctor about her breast and, you know, the scan showed up something. So she obviously needs to rely on their health insurance. So obviously she's a bit worried about that. But I'm like, this this is ridiculous. Glenn is just, every season, he, he continues to just bewilder me. Anyway, and speaking of Natisha, I noticed that she's still in the same bag of trying to, fix up the, these girls and trying to you know bring people together who don't want to come together we know she does this whole you know coaching type stuff that she does but i'm like i don't think these ladies signed up to be coached by you and we understand that it's a collective and it's about people getting along but your little bad vibes friend marie is just staying bad vibes and i don't think that's going to change so you trying to force the trees and her together is just a no-go situation you've tried over the seasons it just doesn't work the two of them don't get along you and her just about okay. At the last reunion, we know that Latrice and Marie almost came to blows. We know that Letitia also switched on Latrice. So we know that them two are just getting back together. So I'm like, Letitia, just just call the man. Like, what to her? Just just call. She's just doing too much. So she's really tried with Latrice and Marie. That didn't work very well. Now she's tried this little, you know, get together with all the girls. And that also went left. I was just like, what is going on? We'll get back there in a minute. But before I get there, I just have to touch on um, JJ because I'm so disappointed that he was not present for his daughter's baby shower. I'm like, JJ, what is going on? All this foolishness is still going on. Like, I was already cussing off So Gucci last season. I'm just like, why is she keeping up these press charges? She's actually, you know, forming a wedge be- between the family, yeah? But now it sounds like she's sounding a bit more remorseful, talking about, you know, well, she was humiliated and whatever, whatever. whatever. But her lawyers, Becky, said, that she can be around Selena. So I don't know why she's keeping up this foolishness about, oh, she can't be around her because of these, um, because of the legal matters. That's not the case. She really said it on scene. So when she's sitting with the ladies later chatting about, she's going to have to excuse herself when Selena comes. I'm just like, this is nonsense. You really said that you don't have to be there. It's because you don't have to do that. It's because JJ doesn't want you to speak to her. And I'm just like, JJ, why are you keeping up this foolishness? Shouldn't you, your main concern be your daughters and ensuring that they're happy and getting to meet the new baby. I don't understand all this foolishness that he's keeping up with Selena. Because Selena doesn't seem like she's got no bad blood over there. She's like, I've got my man, she's moved on. She just wants her daughter to be happy and have a relationship with her dad, it seems like, from outside looking in. Okay, obviously I'm up with these people. But watching this, I'm just like, JJ, you're giving very mix up here because why are you so bothered to the fact that, to the extent where you're fuming and going off on your wife about you know don't worry about it and just worry about the the girls essentially when she's saying she doesn't mind sitting down having a chat with her like clear the air there should be no tension between you and Selena unless you've still got vibes and feelings for her this isn't this is giving strange energy I don't like it and I hope they sort that out because it's really affecting the daughters at the end of the day and we saw on the reunion last time that the daughters are really upset about it so I'm just like no they need to sort this shit out and JJ needs to stop the foolishness like I usually like JJ he's a hilarious character to me but on this no fix up back to the teacher's improv class which to me was quite hilarious because obviously it started off like little jokes bit you know they did a little improv everyone was catching up with a joke then you've got Latrice and Antoinette who arrive and you can tell like it shifts the energy a bit because the girls are surprised to see Antoinette I was like yes I want to see Antoinette back I was very happy to see her come back to be honest I remember her from season one and I liked her so I was like why did she leave but we get to hear why she left because 
once you know she arrives then selena once they arrive and then selena arrives not long after that so gucci's like i've got to make my exit aikisha goes with her because you know that's her ride she says and then of course leticia who's always mrs fix it runs out to try and get her to come back and convince her to come back and says look let's just talk things through which i'm gonna she did get her to come back because it also proved the point that clearly it also showed that so gucci and this so-called restraining order against Selena and not her not being allowed to be around her is nonsense because she came back into the room and was clearly, you know, within walking distance of each other, okay? So I'm just like, mm, yeah, get back in the room and let's just clear the air because otherwise nothing's going to get done. But of course, with this sister circle going on, nothing went well. It made me laugh because Letitia tried to start off like, oh, well, you know, what do you think the issue is? And then Antoinette went to go speak up and she tried to shut down Antoinette, tried to say, well, you haven't really been here. But I love that Antoinette made her point. She's like, well, I can tell you my point from the start, okay? And it's because nobody is supporting each other. Everyone's quick to kind of attack and tear each other down and she made her point and I was like okay this is why she walked away clearly so you know it wasn't vibing with her so I get that Tamra brings up the fact that she feels like you know people need to be trustworthy and can't be doing people dirty yeah? aka Marie who went and contacted her ex who got in contact with her and all that foolishness that she done to her which was was just ridiculous behavior then of course once Marie hears that she gets all bad vibes as usual talking about you know she's got too much to lose and it's, it's all negative and she's not entertaining it and of course when Latrice hears she says she's got too much to lose then Latrice is activated and she's throwing shade <laughs> chatting about um she's good with everyone except Marie f her and shades her but she's less than her not on the same level I feel like Latrice lost to poke at Marie as well um, and wants to get a little rise up her because as soon as she hears Marie try to say something like she's stunning on anybody, the Trace is like, right, that's it. I'm just like, these two and their little issues, like, it's it's ridiculous. We had issues from the start, we know that. And we know that Marie was the person who started the issue because she came in trying to embarrass the Trace about her hair from the first season. But to me, Marie is just very bad vibes. I mean, even at one point this season, I did see where Marie had that sit down with her cousin, and I, I did feel sorry for Marie at that point because I was like, you know, what can she do? She's got a cousin here who's saying that she's vexed with her because she feels like Marie thinks she's better than everyone. I was thinking, mm, maybe she does do give that energy. I can I can understand that. But the entitlement that the cousin had, like you wanted money from her, but you don't want to work for her. You've got a bad attitude with her. And then when Marie's trying to bring up, well, when she's having like an episode with her health, ain't no one there to help her. So hell no, 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 no. Just got to cut that sort of shit off. I'm sorry family or no family like you've got to move proper this is not it so on that i could i can see why she has bad vibes because she's obviously got a lot going on but still it's not the other bell's fault and i feel like she's been bad vibes from the start but it sounds like she's going to be going through quite a hellish time based on the clips for next week so i'm gonna just try and give her a bly and see where i'll go on with that but in this scenario, she was definitely giving off bad vibes. With her cousin last week, I felt a bit sorry for her because, like, geez, Louise, this is probably why you have bad vibes. And so I don't understand why Letitia, she shut out everybody else in the room like they're the problem when it's Marie that's the, the consistent issue to me because she's got an issue with Latrice. We know that they don't get along. She's caused that mix up with Tambra. We know that was her. So I don't understand it. I just feel like Marie's quite bad vibes and she's the one who needs to kind of fix up her attitude and sort that out yes Latrice can definitely stop throwing the shade um but I don't feel like she started it I feel like she's like well I'm in it now in it so you started it with me but yes they could both lay off the shade but I feel like Marie is definitely an issue and we'll see what happens next week because it looks like her and Tambra have a chat but if I was Tambra I'd definitely side eyeing her because that was some messed up behavior who does that who contacts some ran random person that messes you about your friend who used to date your friend to go and get dirt off on your so-called friend? Like, that's not a friendly behaviour, is it? It's rubbish. Idiot business. So, yeah, no, allow that kind of behaviour. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I thought that the episode was jokes anyway. That bit made me laugh at the end with just a whole mix-up with Letitia trying to calm everybody down and be Mrs Fix-It. And I'm just like, girl, just just chill. You need to go and fix Glenn and see what he's got planned for the future and what stability he's going to be providing you guys with your with his new entrepreneurship journey that he didn't tell you about. That's what needs fixing in my eyes. But anyway, I did have a quick look at social media, see people saying on there. And here are some tweets that have me cracking up.
Okay, so you've seen the tweets and you've heard what I have to say. Now, what are you saying about the show? Let me know your thoughts below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.